Welcome everybody, Chris here. This is going to be part two of our holiday nights at Greenfield Village. So come with us and let's go meet Santa Claus and check out some World War II actors and explore the rest of Greenfield Village. Come with us. Now you wonder why they invented furnaces and fleas and... A lot of people. I'm gonna peek over here at the, the trains. Hi. So proud of you, and Layla. Merry Christmas, Layla, and Ava. Santa is so happy to tell you you made it tonight. But I also see Dan, and I see Missy too. That's great work, Missy. And Cole, good job, Cole. Kalua, Kalua, I see you on Santa's night list tonight. Great work, boys and girls. I love, I love, Santa has you on the night list. And JR, JR, that's right, you're there. <laughs> and Johnny, Santa has Johnny on his nice list tonight. But so is Stephen. That's a great job this year, Stephen. And Santa sees Chris on the nice list tonight. Excellent work, Chris. And Jack, Chris. I have your name here I'm too. Chris. And Molly. My name's Chris. That's right, Molly. You're here. Oh, Stacey. CJ's real name is Chris. Great job, Stacy. He's sitting on the ground. Eddie! You can tell the Eddie, ladies back there. They're nice with the new. Merry Christmas! Yeah. Oh, Jamie made Santa's nice list tonight. And Anna Louise. Merry Christmas, Anna Louisa. Merry Christmas! Just in time for Christmas Eve. And Mia. Oh, that's wonderful work, Mia. Myro, Myro, I have your name tonight. Isn't that wonderful? And Fritz. That's your day to snow, but the children know how the games are about to end there. There must have been some magic things that they made the nice list, see? Did you make the nice list? Yeah. Oh, my God. I got a nice list. Thank you. Alright. So I believe this is a World War II Army display inside here. American Red Cross. So we'll go check this out. Got some bagpipes going on down here. Okay. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our very 
very smoky. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Red Cross candy. I'm sorry, my eyes are a little bit. Yeah, with bugs by it, but I just put the water. Please be careful. So the floor is, um, this is a house from the 1600s, and so the floor is very uneven. Um, oh, it's getting worse. Um, but we have it set up today as a um, Red Cross canteen, um, 1944, and this would be a place where um, American soldiers could come and just kind of get some R&R &R before going back to the battlefield. Yeah. Um, 1944, and it's from the Cotswolds in England, and this would be um, the type of house that would be set up as a Red, uh, Red Cross canteen. Um, and so those operated all across England, and they would be um, a places where American service members could come um, in between ooh, in between times where they were on the battlefield, sure. and they could have some R and R oh in between. <laughs> oh my goodness! I think I have to step up. I'm not. I'm gonna step outside for a second. Okay, yeah, get some air. Oh sure, sure. sure. My eyes are. Yeah, How are you doing? Yeah, I can, I can not bad. All right. So, we got the whole spiel in there, like where we are, when we are, all that good oh, yeah. stuff. Yep. So we're just portraying the, the soldiers, soldiers back getting, getting unwounded. So are you American soldiers? Yes. Okay. Merck. 100%. Yep. Airborne. Yep. Airborne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Questions, comments, scathing rebuttals, arguments? Anything? Not at all. No. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Thank you guys. Stay warm or out of trouble, you know, whichever yeah. works. <laughs> Hello. Hi. His eyes were burning. Now you wonder why they invented furnaces and flues and, <laughs> and windows that open? And windows. Hello. All right. Welcome to Occupied Germany, 1918. We have the YMCA set up there in the barn. We can tell you a little bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. I have a boy sitting here at the end of the barn there, so I don't worry about it. But I don't want to definitely pour pork on this. Folks, welcome. This is our YMCA hut. You happen to be in 19, including the American Civil War and the Spanish-American War. I do provide hot drinks for them. I do have some biscuits. We do have stationery and a guilt trip. They, they get a little mad when I tell them, have you written your mother lately? That's what they're doing. <laughs> it's what they're, well, it's better that they're, if they're writing girlfriends, it better be a clean letter because it's a Christian organization. We do sell stuff. The Hershey bar normally would cost them nine cents, a pack of cigarettes, five cents. The shaving kit, 65 cents to a dollar. Soldier at this time is making about $25. My contract as a war secretary with the Y says I must keep them from moral perpetuity. The straight and narrow. Right. You've got to take into account where they're at. They're in Germany. Lots of women, lots of beer, and lots of free time. Not a good combination for young men thousands of miles away from home. So, if you would, partake of our heating fires and talk to our troops out there and wish them a happy holiday. Thank Merry you. Christmas, everybody. Thank you. All right. Hi, folks. You too. What was this farmhouse? Durgans? Something like that.
nothing Free going on in here. Had to carefully manipulate, shape, reheat, and reshape a difficult it's material. It's cool that they do the have the information plate. Only be judged by color or response so to the really cool in here. In short, the practical and occasionally decorative goods made in the black. All right. The Daggett farmhouse. Way off. All right, I'm gonna head inside. Leah, I'm gonna head inside. Uh, my one's okay right now. You want me to go in? Yeah. It's pretty crowded in there. Okay, so you'll actually see some mummers up and down Main Street today. Very hard to miss. They're in a, uh, I believe they're in animal masks. Very rambunctious group. Um, but if you've heard the song, now give us some big pudding. That's a more modern um, mummer song. Um, it's essentially where you make demands of the homeowner until they eventually get annoyed enough that they cave into said demands. So you go away and leave them alone. Um, the Daggets, however, do not have to worry about mummers or carolers at this time. They are congregationalists. Um, so two generations separated from the pilgrims, and as part of their education, it's incredibly important that men, women, and children all knew how to read, as the Bible was incredibly important to their belief. Um, with that, however, when they're reading the Bible, it doesn't specify specifically what time of year Jesus was born. So December 25th was just your average uh, working life for the family. Um, there were some tasks that had to be done. Um, that were perhaps a little neglected during the summer. Um, but Rose in the next room will go a bit more in detail with you on that. Um, when you go into the next room, watch your step for the taller people in the group. Watch your heads. I promise people were not shorter at this time. Lower door frames meant that you were re either retaining uh, heat or keeping heat out. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, have a very happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. There's a little step down oh, there yeah, so be careful. Step. Um, uh, knitting, and then the men would have been fixing things that they hadn't had a chance to get to that, that could wait until winter time. And, um, and maybe even some things that they could do inside. Sam Daggett uh, was a uh, carpenter and a house right so he was fixing other people he would be fixed their, their own his own family's things uh, but he also fixed other people's things so he could can bring them into the house or bring them into the barn and be able to um, um, be, get to those those um, uh, nagging list of, of things they couldn't do because they were spent the rest of the time um, getting ready and, and, and putting up their stores for the winter. So now things are, they're busy, but they're a lot more um, uh, laid back. In this room, it would be particularly comfortable because you have a low ceiling and they could trap the nice warm air. We don't have, uh, they didn't have, um, uh, they didn't have insulation at the time, but they did have like a, a, a less area to have to heat. So on, and it's on a small hearth like this, it would just take a couple logs all night long to be able to make it comfortable enough to, to spend some time here. And they would probably spend a good amount of time here because the um, because they could shut shut the, the uh, doors and they would have used the rest of the house too. But but this room would have been particularly comfortable because because they're not losing so much hot air to the to the ceiling. They would be able to take advantage of, uh, of it. So you can exit out the back door. And um, I hope you, if you haven't already visited the canteen, the YMCA recreation at Cotswold, or I think uh, Mrs. Fisher's uh, to get something to drink is, is in the other direction. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for visiting. Yeah, thank you.
All right. The Daggett Farmhouse. Not everyone. Well, we all know how Christmas really is. They just made it coincide with everybody else's celebration, so I don't blame them for not celebrating it on the 25th. Anyway, just a normal work day for the Daggett family. And then I said it probably would taste burnt. And he's like, no, it tastes like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and then I made a roasted leaf. And then he made a roasted leaf and then I had to take it from him because he was, he was on fire outside the pit. And I was like, okay. All right. All right. And I was really, really <laughs> And the place was on fire. Everything's on fire. It was funny. Yeah, you're funny. All right. All right, let's go down and check out this one. And then we'll start making our way back to the main square. All right, let's go check out the plantation. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Ryan, are we cutting over to your house? You guys want to put your gloves back on? Carol said so we we'll the people on this plantation. Um, but while going through, we do Merry Christmas, buddy! 
There you go. Noah's webs Noah Webster's built things all lit up. Some dictionary money there. <laughs> Santa Claus again. All right, we found people. Lots of people. Lucia, that's right, you made it. And August, Santa has you on his nice list tonight too. So great job, children. I think you're good. Children. Another hot chocolate bar, chocolate and coffee. And the horses. There's still so many houses that we have not gone in that are open tonight, but we got to get moving. So I'm going to check a couple more and then we're going to head out and make the long drive back to Illinois tonight. I think they broke that bell. Trying to get into church before. 
<laughs> they good? CJ was saying hello to everybody and wishing them a Merry Christmas. It was really cute. Yes. Yeah. All right. He goes hi, hello, Merry Christmas. So they let us get a little further in there because someone's playing the organ in there. So <laughs> we can see the back of his head. Pretty amazing. Not as cool as the Wanamaker organ in Philly, but you know. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, so the taste of history, dinner ticket. It's so much stuff to do here. I, I just can't imagine just eating. You know? The village, I'm pretty sure, is closed for the season after Christmas. So what is our membership? Uh, when did we get it? It was before Thanksgiving? No. We had it for summer when we came here with the kids, right? Whenever we came here with the kids, we got it. I can't remember when that is. Cool. Wait, you like you're so cute. I don't know. I think maybe it was in the spring when we got our membership. Because I don't think everything was open and it wasn't really crowded, so. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong. Unless you're wrong? Unless I'm wrong. I don't remember. I remember we were all wearing shorts and stuff. For the most part. But I can't remember when. And then it rained. Oh, wait, did it? Hey, there's the tree. I was wondering where their, their tree was. Their tree. What do we got at the general store? Aw, you're cute. Get run over by a Model T. No. <laughs> That'd be a very expensive death. Because <laughs> you'd have to pay for the funeral, funeral cost, and then pay for the Model T that I just made. Well, Henry Ford did make it affordable for every man so they could all own a Model T one day. Which way? Yeah. <laughs> Carousel. people all right I believe in here is a model train right or is that it is that a dinner thing Merry Christmas. here hold on we got they got the carousel kind of decorated up with some trees in the center
ice skating rink. All the ghosts. This is where. Oh, you're growing this pepper. Where are going? You don't get to eat this? No, we don't get to eat this. <laughs> but it is real food that we made on our wood burning stove. Um, so tonight here on our table, we have our pyramid pound cake, pumpkin pie, uh, Charlotte Russe, and this is the mold that we make it from, um, candy figurines, um, centennial uh, cake, mince meat pie, lady finger cookies, plum pudding, cranberry sauce, um, chicken pie, and my favorite, a marble cake. Nice. <laughs> but out of all of these items, this is the most expensive one. Which one? The pyramid pound cake. Pound cake. So if you could put this on your table, this showed um, a status that you were able to make it, um, because it cost a lot to make it. It took a pound of butter, a pound of sugar, and over a dozen eggs just to make the cake part, not including the frosting. So if you could afford to do that in 1876, we're doing quite well. I'm, I'm doing okay. I can afford fun. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're also still cooking. We have a turkey that we took out of the oven. We got some ginger molasses cookies inside the oven right now. Oh, it looks nice. So those nice. are all the smells that you're getting. You see that? It's got a nice brown to it. Yeah, I know. It's so pretty. <laughs> How are you? Right, thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a good night. Thank you. making our way out of here you think I'm gonna make it to work tomorrow I got a five-hour drive ahead of us we got a full tank of gas I need some monsters I need coffee some coffee I think I have to go into work regardless you're yeah lucky. you're lucky you don't have to yeah I'm I'm kind of a little self-sufficient in what I do for a living no one's really relying on me 
but uh, make sure that people get checked in and stuff. Yep. Yeah. I just I just delay the finishing construction of a building, but I have to open. Yeah, she, she gets to open. So. I can't. But anyways, I don't know how much wind noise you guys are getting on this video, but the wind definitely picked up. <laughs> All right, so there's Liberty Hall. There's the exit. <laughs> Feeling warm, CJ? Yeah. Good. All right, we are at the car, and our adventure is coming to an end from Dearborn, Michigan. All right, so we just finished holiday nights at Greenfield Village. We actually were able to make our reservations on like the Halloween one where we weren't able to and we just were able to stroll the grounds on our earlier video from October. Mm -hmm. So we got out here. So next, hold on, buddy, hold bell. on, hold on, Ring hold the bell. on. The bell. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so. Anyways, this is really awesome. Um, we've been here a couple times and it's really starting to realize that we have not gotten into a lot of the buildings. And a lot of the buildings for the hol holiday nights were open and it was very tempting to go in there. It just feels like there's not enough time to do everything. It's like, you could go, you could ride the Model T's, you could go ice skating. You could do one of the dinners, dinner with Santa Claus, or the uh, Taste of History. Um, and that will take a good portion of the night. Um, waiting in line to get snacks, get hot cocoa, that'll take time too. But if you actually want to get immersed in the history, in all the houses, all the, the Edison house, the Daggett no, house, I get the, get the, merch, hit the, 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 the plantation house, um, the World War II, uh, Red Cross. I'm pretty sure those were World War II guys. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, I, cause I, I know I want to go to Midway Village next week for World War One, but I think those guys inside the the brick building were World War II soldiers. Germany. Yes, it was Germany. I was right. Yes, World War II was against Germany, so, all right. So, anyway, guys, it's awesome. Get yourself a membership and get those tickets when they go on sale for members because they always sell out really quick. People are here, crazy amount of people on a Sunday. So, sold out every single night. So, anyways, glad we made the trip out. Frankenmuth was awesome. This is awesome. Good way to start off my December. Our December. So, sorry. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. I don't know how, Ring if, the bell. We're, if we're gonna get back out here Ring the bell. to finish off Ring the our, bell. <laughs> if we're gonna get back out here. Ring the bell. Oh my God, shut up, dude. <laughs> All right, so anyways, if you guys like this type of content, don't forget to like ring and subscribe bell. and ring that bell. Ring the bell, ring, ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the bell. And leave a comment and uh, tell us and what you liked the, about the video. And don't and forget and to get the merch. What? I think don't forget to get the merch. I don't have merch, dude. I don't know who you're jocking right now, but I do not have I merch. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later.